Why hello there guys, it is HamsterBuzz here bringing you another Power Director tutorial. I haven't done one in ages, thought I should do some now. Uh, Power uh, Cyberlink, which make Power Director were kind enough to uh, kind, were kind enough to give me gift me a uh, copy of Power Director 11. So I'm going to be doing some nice tutorials for you in this new software. It's quite good. Most of it uh, stays the same from throughout most of the Power Directors. I think from since nine or eight, it's probably much the same. It's just that they've been adding on more and more features, which is really really good. Just hit me up in the comments if you'd like me to go through those features or any specific feature you would want me to like demonstrate or whatever but in this video I'm going to show you how do we actually uh, use how do we uh, put a voiceover or a vo like a voice recording over a clip or picture I'm just going to use a picture now because um, yeah so we're going to uh, first there's two ways of doing it there's either the way of actually dragging a clip that you already have recorded say in audacity or your sound recorder or whatever you uh, drag it and you put it in to like, your, your media content and then we just drag it onto a clip where it has a sound etc say if right now I'm using a picture I can easily just drag it into the into the uh, sound track for the for the first track where the picture is with the picture doesn't actually have any sound so right now if I press play this is a test recording for how to make a voiceover recording in Power Director E11. Almost the Power Director is a little test showing that you can actually drag and drop files into your tracks to actually put in a voice recording. And you can also do the uh, version where you actually record it in the actual software. Thank you. So that's how you actually put a voice recording of yourself, a voiceover for a video or a clip uh, by just importing it from a file uh, that you recorded, say on Audacity or Sound Recorder, there are other uh, softwares that you can use to record your voice. Uh, but now uh, there is actually a really nice feature, feature that you can actually use in the actual software itself. So let me just delete this and then we go here where it's voiceover recording room or you can press F10. It will take us here to this like where you have some options, you have here the fade in and fade outs where you can actually like um, tune it so that when you start recording it can fade uh, fade into your voice and then fade out to your voice when you stop recording. You can measure the uh, microphone levels, you have also the device where you can actually pick what devices you have and the input volume as well. If we now go uh, down here, the profiles, the profiles, um, just to, uh, what type of like how, how do you want the sound. Uh, format etc so mono stereo etc like that and then preferences here this is where you can also do the auto fade in at the beginning of recording auto fade out at the end of recording and you can also add a three second delay before the recording like if you want if you don't want it to be in line but I don't know whenever you, you would actually want to use that but there it is still there and also you can actually put a time limit to your recording which I think is really cool because sometimes you can just keep going on but if you have like a structured time you can actually fit everything in and you can be a bit more productive with the time you have and like say the video time as well so it just stops when the video stops or, or you know where the clip stops I don't know something like that so if I now press, uh, and also the feature which has been on all power directors is that you can mute all tracks while recording which is really cool. Sometimes you might not want the sound uh, to hear while you're actually speaking or sometimes you do so it can encourage you to, on what you speak etc. So all you do now is you just press record and now I am recording a voiceover clip for my video showing you guys how to do voiceover in power director 11. And in most Power Directors, this should be the same case. Maybe in Power Director 11, you have a, f a few more features, but in all the previous Power Directors, it should be the same. And now, if I press the stop button, it will just take a minute to produce. And also, this saves onto your um, onto your like um, area. So when so if you want to use your uh, recording of that for anything else, or maybe you, you're singing or something, I don't know. You can also load it up in your files. So now if I play it, record, and now I am recording a voiceover clip for my video showing you guys how to do voiceover in Power Director 11. And in most Power Directors, this should be the same case. Maybe in Power Director 11, you have a, a few more features, but in all the previous Power Directors, it should be the same. And now if I press these, and there we go. That is basically how you add a voiceover in Power Director. You can use this while voicing over videos, voicing over clips, uh, 
images like this that I use, you can't actually see the images because of recording, so that's why it doesn't pick up the layered videos, I don't know why, but it doesn't matter. The main point of this video is to show you how do you actually use voiceover in Power Director. And there was those two methods, remember the first one is you can just import it from your files already, drag it and then drag it customize it in a sense that you can uh, reduce the audio levels and that etc if you go to the um what's it called the audio mixing room you can also there it has a section for your voice where you can adjust the volumes and that and also like yeah that's basically it and then the audio gain and that etc that's all just pretty much self-explanatory but yeah that's the first method second method is you go onto the voiceover recording room f10 also for a short, a short hot, key, hot key and then you just record it from there so really power director has you sorted out for the voiceover recordings and uh, really either way it should really be easy for you to get set up to maybe make a commentary or some kind of documentary when you want to have your voiceover a certain clip or whatever but anyway thank you guys for watching this video if you have any questions about this video or uh, anything about voiceover recording please leave me, uh, leave me in the comments also if you would like to see any other type of tutorial that I can try and make please leave me down or message me on YouTube if you would like to see me do any kind of other tutorial and stuff because I want to get into doing some tutorials on PowerDirector I already did two videos and they were quite popular so thank you guys for watching subscribe if you want to like and favorite I do not mind and yeah, I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.